to the gym today, but I wanted to show you guys my goals first. I got this new hair device thing at Marshalls and for some reason I put them so tight when I went to bed last night, but look at how loose they are now. I don't know how to maintain it throughout the night because I sleep so crazily, so it's just like whatever I guess. But I did it the other night and it worked so well. So I just wanted to show you guys how well it works. Like, are you kidding me? Look at how crazy that is. It works so well. And I originally curled my hair after I washed it. And then my curls fall really easily, so I just put that in and recurl it, and it's perfect. I used to use like the row curls, but this works so much better just because it's more sturdy, and it's still like super comfortable. Like the material is really soft, but it's just more, I guess, round, so it makes the curls form a lot better than a row. It was only like ten dollars, so I will link one on Amazon if you guys want to buy one. But seriously, it's worth the hype. Like I didn't get one of these for the longest time because I was like. Oh, my robe works but no this actually works a lot better but anyways i'm gonna brush my teeth now and get ready for the gym because i'm going with joel mm. do you guys see the birds chirping it's so pretty birds are chirping they're chirping this is my favorite part of like the spring and the summer is hearing the birds chirp in the morning and they start so early okay let's get ready for the gym also how cute are my pjs madison bought them for me from i think she got them from walmart which is crazy but they're so cute gym outfit of the day look at how cute this burgundy set is from gymshark it's like this dark maroon burgundy color and it's so cute the material of this set is so soft and buttery and nice and so comfortable you guys know how picky i am with my workout sets and i also have a white sports bra underneath from gymshark as well so soft so nice and it layers so well with like a tank like this i've been obsessed with wearing workout tank tops to the gym as you guys know it's just so flattering i love the fit and like i already said as well i'm obsessed with the layering lately too so having this white sports bra underneath is so cute and i love it and of course i'm just wearing my new balances with the outfit but we're gonna get going let's go work out gotta get my gym bag <laughs>
here is how my breakfast turned out. I just put some sriracha on the eggs, bunch of little cut up sa breakfast sausages, avocado, and then some goat cheese, but this looks so good. I'm so excited to eat. It's just like, I feel like I have one of every food group in here. So it's perfect balanced little breakfast. Also, I'm gonna put maple syrup on my sausage. If you guys have never tried putting maple syrup on your sausage, you have to, because it's actually so good and it's a game changer. Hey guys, so I actually put this curler thing back in my hair because the curls were like falling after the gym since I put them up. Um, I tried to like save my hair as much as possible at the gym, so I like took it out of the ponytail and the bun so that it could hopefully stay a little bit more curled, but it just kind of fell. And that's the thing about going to the gym, that's the one thing that I just do not like, is the fact that it always ruins my hair. <laughs> I don't mind it when my hair is greasy because I could just do a slip back and it's whatever. But when I freshly have my hair done, it's just annoying, you know? Anyways, so I put it back in these curlers um, after my shower so it can hopefully recurl itself. I'm just getting ready for the day. I was just doing a little bit of editing on my computer for a few hours, finishing up a vlog. But now I'm just waiting for Talia to come over because we're recording the podcast. Now that we're doing video episodes, obviously we need to get ready for those since we're going to be on camera. So that's exciting. This is our second youtube video for the podcast and it's so much fun i love our podcast and i love making the youtube video and it's just like a new venture that is really just exciting but anyways so for the sephora sale that was just happening it ended yesterday actually i really wasn't sure on whether i wanted to like pull the trigger or not on my cart because i was like i really don't like need anything and i've been trying to not like just impul impulsively buy stuff that i don't need but i realized i am running low on my bronzer this is the Makeup by Mario bronzer, but I've always wanted to try the Rare Beauty one, so I bought that. I'll give you guys a haul when the package comes in, but um, I do really like this bronzer, but it literally is almost gone, and I just wanted to try something new, so I got that. And then I also ordered just a couple things. My cart was only like $130, I think, so that was fine. I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to pull the trigger. I ordered it last night right before I went to bed on my phone because I'm like, I'm going to regret it if I don't order, and everything that I got was things that I actually I'm running out of so i'm gonna need to purchase them in the near future anyways um yeah originally my cart was like 300 dollars, and i'm like okay like this is too excessive so i took some stuff out i really wanted to try that k18 dry shampoo you know the new one that they made that's apparently like a liquid and you spray it in your hair i really wanted to try that one but i decided on not going through with the purchase because people were just bashing it and they were like it made my hair feel like hey and it's bad so i was like you know what i'm just gonna wait it out and see until like it gets more reviews and then purchase it if it gets good feedback i mean i could have definitely purchased it and then just returned it if i didn't like it so could have done that but also whatever i can buy it another time if i really want it and it's not something that i need you know but at the end of the day i'm a firm believer that we're in a, like a simulation guys okay i don't believe we're in an actual simulation but I believe that our society is like a simulation where it's like you're taught to save money and you're taught to not spend your money, not spend your money on stupid things and whatever, which is true in a way. Like obviously you don't want to be stupid with your money and you need to like set yourself up a little bit so you can live and you know not die of starvation but on the other side of that it's like you gotta do what makes you happy and money isn't even real at the end of the day and every time i think of that i'm like that's crazy because when we die like we don't take any of our money with us nothing materialistic comes with us when we die so it's like spending your money is gonna make you happy on some certain things and do it i'm a firm believer in that i believe that it's all about your energy behind spending your money so if you spend your money and then all of a sudden you feel this pit in your stomach and you get buyer's remorse and you're like oh shit like oh you're thinking about like how you don't have that money in your bank account anymore that you just spent and if you dwell on that then i think that that's manifesting your finances to keep going like that and being bad so when you do purchase something you really have to make sure to have a good energetic pov behind it instead of purchasing something and getting buyer's remorse and just having that pit in your stomach and being like oh i don't want to check my bank account now you just have to think like this money that i'm spending right now is going to come back to me 10 times the amount that i just spend it and you just got to be happy knowing that that money is going to come back into your account but 
even more multiplied because the universe is all about give and take so in order for you to actually have like a good flow of money in your life you also need to be spending it as well for it to come back to you if you hoard everything it's going to become stagnant so that is also one of the laws of attraction for money is you need to be like circulating the money and the wealth in your life and spending it on things that make you happy or else it's never going to like bounce back to you because holding on to your money is the belief that you need to save it because you're not gonna get money in the future. Do you know what I mean? So that's also another thing is like, we're taught to save and put away your money and all that, but it's like that also doesn't really set us up for success mentally because that can kind of lead us to thinking that we need to save this money in the future because we're not gonna have enough money in the future. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> you just can't have a negative like mindset towards money because it's all the law of attraction, at least I believe that. At the end of the day, it's really just an energy exchange. And if you're exchanging your money for something that makes you happy, then it's gonna come right back to you multiplied. So you just gotta know and believe that and it will. So anyways, yeah, long story short, I did end up getting some stuff in the Sephora sale. So I'm excited for that to come in. I'm really happy because the past like two, three weeks, I was go, go, go. I did not have a second to breathe because I had my taxes to do. And then all of a sudden I just had a bunch of like, like videos that needed to get done really quickly and so I had so much backed up editing that I was like sat on my computer for so long and it's just been a hectic few weeks now this week I'm kind of like more chill I have more of like an advance and I know more so what I need to do so I have it a lot more planned out so I'm not super super hectic this week still a busy week because this month is like filled with partnerships and stuff which is amazing and I am posting twice a week which is a little bit more but I have been really really diligent on scheduling everything each week I've been using Google Calendar actually and making my weekly plan on there and it's been helping me out so much especially if you work from home and you make your own schedule or maybe if you're in school and you also have work or whatever it is planning out your days and kind of time blocking oh my gosh it has helped me so much to just really stay on track and know what i need to do for the day and know exactly what i'm going to be doing at a certain time and how long it's going to take me and plan that all out it's made a huge difference but anyway so that is the plan for today I'm gonna record gonna go she's gonna come probably pick me up and then we're gonna go get a little go to a cafe and get a drink for the episode because we love to have something to sip on i also need to clean my house desperately since i've been so go 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 these past couple of weeks i haven't like cleaned anything and my house needs to be just really clean, so I'm going to do a little bit of tidying after I get ready right now, um, just downstairs so it's nice and, you know, neat for the filming and everything. And I hate having people over if my house is, like, not tidy. I need to have, like, a clean house when people come over. It's just, you know, I just can't handle the mess. I personally can't even handle the mess, so I hate when other people have to see it. I want to make a better habit of just, like, okay, I make a mess. Let's clean it right away before I go do something else. There are some except exceptions where I just literally am so tired I can't and I'm just, you know what, it's fine. But 90% of the time I want to be able to just get it out of the way and clean. Because like you guys already know this year I'm really trying to do things that are going to benefit my future self. That's definitely something that could be added to the list for that. Oh, I also actually ordered a new blush on the Sephora sale because this Summer Fridays one that has been my go-to is literally like I'm hitting the bottom. It's not even going up anymore and I love this color but got a little bit of a different blush that's on the way so i'm excited about that yeah anyways okay i'm gonna continue getting ready and i will see you guys in a bit i'm gonna just watch a youtube video while finishing my makeup i go to the gym and i'm like it is really hard to work out today and it's, i'm probably in a phase where i shouldn't be really working out or doing something super low impact you know like you can just you can feel the toll it's taking on your body it makes sense that it has to do with each stage stage mm -hmm. and that you should know kind of how to act mm -hmm. in those stages that was literally me today. Yeah. I was just not having it in the gym because I am just about to get my period. And so this is like... Me too. Oh my gosh. We're going to be synced up. We're synced up. Not <laughs> as blood sisters. And us wearing red. Like <laughs> creepy. Creepy. Whoa. We're just being blood sisters. You're done. That's funny. <laughs> hey guys. So Talia and I just wrapped up the podcast for this week. And it's currently around 5.30. I was just editing this morning and now 
we're going to go on a walk. We're babysitting Dawson, Joel's family's dog. So we're gonna take him on a walk. It's a beautiful day. So it's also nice to get some fresh air. Yeah, I might have to do a little bit of editing tonight just because we were recording for a few hours and I still have a bit of work to do. But yeah, probably gonna go on a walk, come home, have dinner. And it was so funny because right now I'm wearing my red new sweats that I got from Brandy. And Talia showed up in a red crew neck and we coordinated the red unintentionally. Like I had no idea what she was wearing. She had no idea what I was wearing. And it's just funny because red is a color that both of us don't even wear often. And the same day we choose to wear red is just hilarious. So yeah, that's the vibe. I'm honestly super, super tired today. I just feel like because it's the beginning of the week and I'm also like a week out from my period like i'm gonna get my period any day now and i just feel extra tired like honestly this morning's gym session was not the best because i just felt so tired and like i had no energy i just feel like i want to go to bed a bit extra early tonight so i can get a really good long sleep because i feel like i need to catch up on sleep or something and i feel like around my cycle at this time i do have to get extra sleep so anyways we're gonna go on a walk this is my these are my little red pants i love them so much it'll pop a color and they're so comfy but anyways let's go also i went to home sense recently joel and i went and i got this cute little side basket for our couch i've been wanting to get a basket here for a long time but i just haven't been able to find the perfect one but i feel like this fits so perfectly it fits all our blankets and it just looks really nice and cute in the corner it fits the vibe and it just adds a little bit more to the room more color woody tones and yeah i love it so much let me see if i can find the actual brand on the tag it's from rgi home but like i said i got it at home sense so not really sure where else you can find it but it's so nice and just really fits the space and i've been trying to get little things like this just to upgrade our home and change things out because for the longest time we were just putting our blankets on the ottoman so it's nice to have them out of the way now like 5 30 and um i slept through my first alarm for some reason i think i accidentally snoozed it twice when i was only supposed to snooze it once i don't even know because i only remember it ringing once but yeah so i kind of slept through my alarm and i am definitely in that phase of my cycle where i am extra tired because i am noticing a huge difference so i'm just going to take it light at the gym today i don't want to skip today just because i want to still stay in my routine but the thing is, is like I know I'm feeling super tired, but I did get eight hours of sleep, so I know I'm fine. But I'm just going to take it, like I said, lighter in the gym today. And then when I get home, I may even just allow myself to take a nap since I am probably needing a little bit more rest today and this week. But I am currently wearing a Gymshark once again. Guys, their stuff is so nice. I used to wear Gymshark so much years ago, and then I stopped wearing them for some reason. But oh my goodness, they sent me some stuff and this is like the softest, best material ever. It's like the perfect Pilates slash what I like in a gym workout set because it's not rough material. It's like super, super soft. It's just the best. I got so many cute things from them. You guys know that I'm super picky with my workout clothes and what kind of materials I like because I like to be comfortable at the gym because if I'm not comfortable, I won't have a good workout and that's why I'm so picky on the materials that I use. If you guys want to support me and shop Gymshark, I will have these pieces that I'm wearing in the video linked down below along with my code. That's Michaela to get yourself some money off. But yeah, this material that they have, I'll have a link down below. It's the best. It's so good. And like I said, I get into layering recently. They have the best stuff for that. Like I'm wearing this white sports wear underneath with this tank and then these biker shorts today. Love them so much. Anyways, we gotta leave the house. My bone broth is now ready. I can s go back to bed and probably sleep for another five hours. I'm not even kidding you. But I also have a lot of work to do today. I have to finish the video this morning that's gonna be going up later today, hopefully. I need to also go grocery shopping today 
and potentially go do just a couple errands of stuff that I want. I also have, like I said, a lot of editing to do, so we'll see where the day takes me, but it is a busy one, but I will squeeze in time for half an hour nap if I need to, so. Anyways, let's go to the gym. Cheers. It's actually getting so much brighter earlier. Do you notice that, Joel? Mm -hmm. It's like bright now. When we, when we used to leave the house, it never used to be this bright, which is crazy. This is so weird. It kind of puts me in more of like a awake mood like yesterday when i was at the gym i felt so much more awake being there like half an hour into my workout because it was already bright so it's nice i love how the sun is setting i mean rising earlier may as well take advantage of that anyways cheers to wednesday let's go to the gym so here are the shorts but how cute you guys and these are the three inch and i can't really wear anything longer than the three inch shorts well i could but since i'm shorter these are like the perfect length on me i'm five three for reference i have this tank in black as well and i was debating putting this on with like the white and then the black over top but i was like you know what i'm gonna switch up and wear white and white because that's a really cute layering moment as well with the little cute black biker shorts anyways i'm gonna head out <laughs> kind of late today the gym i have a little story time for you so i was in the sauna and at the gym they're like personal saunas so you got to write your name down on like a list to reserve it for a specific time so that you know it's not first come first serve i write my name down for 7 30 on the board i get in the sauna like i wrote it right before i went in the sauna because i looked at the board i'm like oh there's no one's names written on it so i wrote my name down and then went in the sauna then like 15 minutes into me being there this girl comes and she there's two saunas and she goes in the other sauna and she realizes that it's not like heated up and then she looks at the board and then she looks at me and she approaches me and she's like um what's your name and i'm like uh Michaela. and she's like yeah so my name was written down on the board and you erased it and i was like i didn't erase it like what <laughs> like i did not erase anything i wouldn't do that and then she was like yep you did you erased it but you know what it's fine and then she starts walking away and i heard her say something about me being a bitch under her breath why would you assume that i erased your name that's like the last thing that i would do like that's rude that's like the most devious place your mind can go what probably actually happened happened was she probably wrote her name a few hours earlier or a couple hours like when she first got to the gym and then the staff they erase the board every day in the morning and they probably thought all the names on the board were from yesterday so they just erased the whole board which included her name and then when i went to go see the board there was no names on it so i didn't know anyways i'm like why are you attacking i just got attacked like she didn't even let me speak because she was just being so petty and she just assumed the worst of me when it's like why are you trying to be mean to me when we're probably going to see each other around the gym again and it's just gonna be awkward now because you're attacking me for no reason she could have just been like hey just wondering um you know if you erased my name or if the board got swiped or something because my name was on there if she just approached it like that i would have been like oh like i didn't see any names like we could have talked it out and i'll may have even left the sauna for her if she really wanted it the way that she approached me was so rude and so petty for no reason like i'm a stranger you have no idea if i erased your name or not and sure i could have erased your name but even if i did 
you, you wouldn't even know that you know what i mean so it's like the way that she just attacked me thanks for starting my day off like that <laughs> these are things that i really trained my brain and myself to not react to and to not care about and it's almost just like a reflection of themselves like everybody who attacks you in those types of ways and is rude to you it's really a reflection of their inner self and like their mood and how they're feeling because there's no way that i personally would ever attack somebody like that and that's a reflection of me do you know what i mean so if anybody ever like is rude to you like that attacks you like that honestly just feel bad for them and know that that's really their issue because if they treat people like that there's a bigger issue in their life you know so anyways i was just taken back and i was like you know what whatever that's not gonna let that ruin my day like there was kind of a pit in my stomach and i'm like that was rude that was rude but hey there's nothing i can do about it gotta move on with my day have a good day and that's it so that's what we're doing anyways i'm gonna pour myself a coffee right now i usually would have like a protein shake but i want to try to make the hailey bieber smoothie today so i think what i'm gonna do is just stay on my workout stuff and then make my coffee drink my coffee do a, a few emails and then go to the grocery store right away and get that over with come back home and then make the hailey bieber smoothie because i've been wanting to try the recipe because it looks so good and it's like a protein shake at the same time so that's my plan right now i also got this super cute mug um at home sense as well when i got the basket that i showed you guys but how cute oh my gosh it was only $5.99 like you're kidding me for this and like it's so ceramic-y cute and it just looks handmade and I'm obsessed it's perfect for the spring and the summer because I've been wanting to get more spring and summer mugs since most of my mugs were like Christmas themed or um, fall themed and I'm like I really don't have any like cute you know springy summery mugs so I picked this one up and I'm gonna just like rinse it out and we're gonna make a little coffee i ran out of my nespresso pod so i haven't been able to do like an iced in a while but i do want to get some more maybe even today i'll go so i've just been having hot coffee which is fine and i also don't even have any milk so hot coffee it is but I'm gonna rinse this out and then we'll have a little coffee okay guys i just did some emails and i just did a bit of editing while drinking my coffee and i honestly didn't even sweat too much today not even in the sauna i don't know why it wasn't that hot but yeah so i didn't get changed still wearing my workout set so comfy and just put some sunglasses on and my little purse and now we're gonna go out head out and do a quick grocery shop i don't want to take too long just because i'm really hungry and i want to make this smoothie so let's go and do a little bit of a grocery shop <laughs> finished up grocery shopping and there was this man that came up to me in the grocery store he was like in his maybe i don't know 70s or something and he was like hey i'm with the canadian national food society or something like that and he showed me his card he's like i just would love if you could give me a review on this grocery store because i'm reviewing it today and um i've never been here before and i'm trying to get like the shopper's opinions and so I did a little interview with him. I was like, yeah, this grocery store is great. You know, it's a good environment. I love how it's bright. And he's like, yeah, like it's so bright in here. I like it. And it was so funny. So good interaction with the human being today. After what happened this morning, we love. It's just funny because lately I've been seeing, I'm not even kidding you guys. It's been absolutely insane. I don't even know how to put it into words, but I've been seeing so many angel numbers recently. It's been just wacko, okay? Seriously, wacko and i don't know i feel like something is happening spiritually energetically because just that interaction i had this morning in contrast with the interaction i had like the odds of somebody coming up to me and being super nice and asking me that like that has never really happened to me before and it's just funny how that happened after my bad interaction this morning so i don't know like just the way the universe works and things flip around and you know all dependent on your vibe and what you're attracting is just insane and crazy so i challenge you guys to kind of pay attention to that and pay attention pay attention and make sure that you're no you know like vibing high because when you're vibing high good things are going to attract into your life and when you're vibing low you're going to keep 
attracting situations that are low vibration. So that girl in the morning who got mad at me for being in the sauna, she clearly was in a bad headspace and therefore attracted her name to be erased off of that board and me being in the sauna. It's just crazy how much your vibration can affect what happens to you and how you can manifest things happening around you. It's like saying, oh, I'm such an unlucky person. Well, if you keep saying that, then yes, you're gonna be an unlucky person because that is exactly what you're attracting, you know? So it's all about your mindset. It's all about what you attract and your mindset plays a direct correlation to that in your vibe and so just make sure that you know you're vibing high it doesn't have to be 24 7 because that's impossible sometimes you just need to get mad or get frustrated and that's fine but just let it go and move on with your day you know so anyways i just thought that that was funny that that happened in contrast with what happened this morning anyways we shopped i did a little video for tiktok actually of an in-depth grocery shop so if you guys want to see that go on my youtube shorts or on my tiktok i did a little how much i spent on the groceries today so if you want to see that go check it out but i've been just trying to do little videos like that for more of short form since i've had people comment on my youtube being like oh i found you from tiktok and i'm like wow that is so crazy to me that people find me from tiktok because i don't really have that many followers on there my videos don't get like really a lot of views anyways so when people say that they found me from tiktok on my youtube i actually like my jaw drops and i'm like how you know but i guess my videos do reach some new people and then it just takes like that one person to click on my youtube and then they find me and it makes sense but it's just crazy to think that people find me from other platforms because my youtube is just like my main thing so i definitely want to keep up posting you know a few times a week on even my shorts people have found me from my youtube shorts and has commented and been like oh subscribe from this video so i feel like short form is a really good way to promote your long form content at least like for me since i do do youtube full time i use it more for marketing rather than actually getting successful off of short form, form content if that makes sense because at the end of the day like I'm never going to quit YouTube so if anything I'm just using it as marketing for my YouTube. It's funny because in comparison to the AdSense that I make on a video versus AdSense that I make off of a YouTube short, guys my YouTube short one of them got like 30k views and the video made me maybe $2. Two dollars. Like YouTube shorts make no money so it's not for actually gaining something out of it well it is it's but marketing wise you know for people to just watch my long form but it's just crazy i thought that you could make decent money off of youtube shorts since like they did that whole monetization thing but no literally nothing well i haven't had a video that has reached more than like 30,000 views on shorts so maybe that's why i haven't seen much money at all but like 30,000 views would get you a good chunk of money on a long adsense video versus two doll two doll two dollars babe like that's that's for free you know um okay anyways i'm gonna head home now and i'll give you guys a mini grocery haul when i'm home and unbox unbox did i just say unbox the groceries unload the groceries and put them away and then shower get ready for the day and i need to edit let's get going also you guys i just got a message on my phone from my cousins they live in montreal and i'm so excited because they just booked their flights they have never come to see us before like they've never been to vancouver and i'm so excited little grocery haul so i got this cashew milk this only has two ingredients and honestly i can make this so easily it's just water and cashews but i'm just lazy this week and i don't want to so I bought it. It's like 10 bucks, which is so expensive for this little thing. But you know what? It happens sometimes, okay? They got my money. But I just don't like buying the milks with all the additives. So this one is super, super clean. And this brand is really good. And then I just got some coconut cream for the Hailey Bieber smoothie. Some regular cream. Some mangoes. These are the best. Avocados. Raspberries. Because their strawberries just looked really bad today. Green onion. Some lemon juice. Some bone broth. Some kombucha. Some frozen strawberries for the smoothie some organic ginger some basmati rice sparkling water two salad kits some coleslaw because i'm gonna make a spring roll in the bowl tonight and show you guys how i make it so that's for dinner got some frozen burritos you guys know i love these and then i also got my dorito dupes you guys know i love these as well so yeah that is a little overview grocery haul for today and then i also got at meridian meats i got some ground turkey some ground beef some chicken wings and bacon just for our dinners this week and then i stopped the choppers and just got some toothpaste and then also some flossers <laughs>
Basically, I don't know if you know what Air One is, but Air One is like in LA and it's a super bougie grocery store. Anyways, Hailey Bieber did a collab with them and they came out with a smoothie together and it's been popping off everywhere. So I'm a little late to the trend, but I have been wanting to try it. So I thought it would be fun to try it together for this video. So I went on TikTok and I found like the recipe for it. So we're going to start off with the strawberries because it's kind of like, a, I think it's called a strawberry glazed smoothie i'm pretty sure my strawberries are a little bit soft the ones that i just bought you guys have been sitting in the car when i was running my errands but whatever so i'm gonna do two cups of strawberries frozen strawberries i feel like this is gonna make such a big smoothie i did just short of a full cup just because i don't want it to be huge my next ingredient is half a banana and it doesn't say to use frozen ones so i'm just gonna go in with a regular one i don't even know if i have any i actually this is the problem i have i always get bananas and then i'm like oh i'm gonna get them to freeze them for my smoothies and then i always end up forgetting to freeze them and then they're rotten and then i need to make something like banana bread anyways <laughs> half a banana she's going in i feel like it's almost illegal to make a smoothie without banana i don't know why but i love myself a good banana in a smoothie it just makes it so much I don't know creamier and i love the subtle taste of banana i just think it's so good okay so next is two pitted dates i am actually running so low on my dates i need to go to costco and get more but i do have enough so two little dates dates add such like a good natural sweetness to everything if you guys don't have dates you can probably use like honey or maple syrup just like some other natural type of sweetener and just put a few teaspoons now it says one scoop of avocado. So I'm gonna put like, I'll cut it in half and then maybe scoop something out, I don't know. Also putting avocado in your smoothie makes it so creamy and it adds a lot of good like healthy fats. So that is a bonus. I got this really ripe, perfect avocado today grocery shopping because I needed to use it and thank God they had some good ripe ones. I'm gonna put like literally a spoon as the video said. Okay, now it says to add one scoop of vanilla protein powder. So this one is actually dairy, but I don't have a vegan protein powder right now that's vanilla. So I'm gonna make this one exception, but usually I'd probably be using like more of a plant-based protein. One scoop has 28 grams of protein. Damn, that is a lot. Two cups of milk. So I'm gonna get my cashew milk that I just bought today. So now I'm just gonna blend this up and then we're gonna do the finishing touches of the smoothie because those are like the most important for the appearance of it all. If that makes sense, I'll show you guys in a minute. So I have the coconut cream that I just bought today and I'm just gonna take it and you're supposed to just like smother it on the sides of the cup. So you're literally supposed to go like that <laughs> and just like make it kind of white like that on the sides. Smother her up a little bit. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's good. Now I'm gonna take my jam. This should be strawberry. I didn't realize it was raspberry, but if you have strawberry jam, use that. Raspberry is honestly the same thing, so I really like raspberries anyways. So now I'm gonna take the raspberry jam, put it in. You can also make your own puree if you have strawberries mixed with like honey or something and put in the blender, but I didn't buy strawberries today, so whatever. She's going at the bottom. I'm just like, I'm just gonna mix her up a little bit with the coconut, put a little bit more. Basically, I'm pretty sure you just want to make like a mess of the cup. And now I have my actual smoothie here. Okay, I couldn't fit the whole thing, but that's okay. Wow, okay, she looks so pretty. That is a slay, are you kidding me? Okay, let's try it. I can't compare because I've never had the actual one, but I can give you a taste review just for the smoothie purposes. Mmm, wow. Oh my gosh. Mmm, guys, 10 out of 10. Are you kidding me? This is so good. Highly recommend you try this and make it. This is just like a fun way to switch it up. You know what I mean? Like making a different smoothie. I wonder how similar this tastes to the actual one. So I'm excited to try the actual one one day. But cheers to my 
different little protein shake today. Let me know if you guys make it and if you like it. Okay, I'm gonna drink this and then <laughs> finally go take a shower. So that is how I make my spring roll in a bowl. It's so easy to make, so good, and so quick, but still healthy. And this has been one of my favorite like spring dishes going into summer. I feel like it's nice and light and perfect and super easy, quick to make. So this is a sleigh, also good for meal prepping too. So mm. love it, gonna enjoy this now, Mitchell. Mm. 